tucked away just off SR-14 in East Vancouver, Edward Merced's home is unlike pretty much anything on the market. There's 11 containers in this house, 840s and, 11, uh, and 320s. He broke ground in 2015 and since then it's been a labor of love. Originally it was only going to be a small, you know, uh, 2,000 square foot home, but it's become 4,100 4, square foot with uh, 11 shipping containers. Walking through his home, you'd hardly realize you're walking through shipping containers. We're in two containers right now. I'm standing in two, so right here is the center. And uh, I put this uh, facade up here to, to hide it. And some of these finer touches, you won't find in a store. These interior windows are from the old Montgomery building. His dining room light, an old door. In fact, he says nearly 70% of the materials and decorations used are recycled. Basically, we use anything recyclable as possible. Like, for example, the C channel came from, the C channel you see there from, for the writing rack, that came from the, um, the trailer that was here, like a mobile home that was here originally. The house draws quite the interest. He says people every day stop by to take a picture. And if this house looks somewhat familiar to you, it's because you might have seen it on HGTV's Container Homes. I was uh, fishing in Costa Rica and uh, a lady just came up to me and she goes, you're that guy. I'm like, what guy? You're that guy on Container Homes. But after four years of living here, it's time to sell, which for someone that put hours into building it, he says it's hard to walk away. It's kind of a dilemma here for me, you know, and deep down, you know, I spent so much time and effort. I know every nook and cranny. I know every, you know, thing in this house. It's just that uh, I feel like it's holding me back, you know, from doing something new. It's yours for only a cool two million. In Vancouver, I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.